What's up? Got a mess of knives here. So the purge is officially on. I've got 12 knives here. All of these are in lot one of the purge. So I'm going to run through these individually, kind of cover the action and just kind of run through them, describe them a little bit. I'm going to throw a price down on them. Bottom down in the notes, each knife will be listed and the sale price. Um, the way to purchase one of these or to inquire about it is to reach out to me at the, the uh, page's email, which is discerningman01 at gmail.com. And that link is down below as well. So if you're interested in one of these, reach out. Uh, it's first come, first serve. So if somebody reaches out, says they want it, I'll give them a reasonable amount of time to issue the payment. All payments will be done through Venmo. I will try to work with somebody. If you don't have Venmo or whatever, I'll try to do it. But really, I, I, I'm trying to do everything through Venmo. So if you don't have Venmo, it's easy to get. Um, but at the end of the day, like I say, I'll do my best to try to work with somebody. And uh, I've got, there's 12 in this lot, but I've got several of these lots. I'm going to throw videos up on the channel. All these knives will sell. So if I don't sell them through the channel then they'll be sold through other avenues, which of course they'll be hopefully a little more money because somebody else is going to get paid in the deal as well. Um, I am asking for a donation of $7 to help cover shipping. Either way, the knife is going to ship to you, but when you pay, if you add the $7 to help support the channel, that'd be great. If you don't, I understand. Not everybody has an extra 7 bucks, and to be honest, I'd rather you have the knife than me have the seven dollars but i am tossing that out there if you can donate the seven bucks to cover shipping that'd be awesome so with that said i'm going to pop into these 12 here and i'm going to start here i'm going to bounce all over with the Civivi chevalier or however you say that clearly i'm not saying it right man i don't know but uh pretty nice it's got this nice fuller that you can uh backflip thumb flick and then it's got the back flip on it. So you can reverse flick it. Thumb flick. And then back flip. This one has been carried a little bit. But if you look here at the clip, there's no real wear on it. It's got great micarta. I have polished this blade. Reprofiled and put a polished edge on it. It's wicked sharp. The pocket clip runs good. And so this is a great opportunity for me to say... Almost every one of these knives has a video on the channel. So if you'll search the model number in the videos, you should be able to find a video for it. So yeah, there's a Civivi Chevalier, and I'm asking $55 for it. So if, if you're interested in the knife, reach out to me. If you've got another number in mind, I mean, don't hesitate. Reach out and make me an offer. At the end of the day, I need to sell all these knives. And there is a bunch. So the next one is the Civivi Odium. Yeah. G10, and I believe that's D2 Steel. Yeah, D2. This one's never been carried, cut, sharpened, nothing. Now... All these knives are to be considered used, and the reason I say that is because, like this one, it's never been carried, never been sharpened, but let's say it had a little scratch right here when you got it. Well, that's why I'm saying consider the knife to be used, because if it comes and it's got a little scratch or, you know, some little mar on it or something, I'm not going to take it back. If I told you it was new or like new in the box, if it had a little scratch, or a little mark on the clip or something, maybe you'd be disappointed. So consider all of these knives to be used, and there may be slight imperfections in them. Um, yeah, so I, I think we all know what I'm saying there. At the end of the day, this one's got a pretty good grip, and you can choke up. And from this spot right here, choked up, man, this thing's, this thing's legit. But black G10, D2 steel, nice in hand. And I'm asking $25 for this Odium right here. Next is the Cancep Hazakura. Yeah. And this is a Max Tuchuk design. And I believe this is 154 cm. Um, 
Where is the blade steel on this one? Well, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, 154 CM, right there. Has a Kuru. Excellent drop shot action. Flump fripper only. Nice in hand. I believe that's... Um, yeah, it's black and white micarta mixed together. Pretty cool, huh? I will say that there's a slight amount of lockstick right there. Just the tiniest little bit. It it doesn't really take any pressure to disengage that, but you can hear it and feel it. Yeah, a little bit of lock stick in it. The Cancep Hazakura. Wicked sharp. All these knives are going to be plenty sharp. It's got a titanium pocket clip, too, That's that's been flame anodized. And to the best of my knowledge, that's factory. Because this, this has never been carried. And all the goodies are in this box. All of these, the goodies are in there. It's got all the little... And, and there's a description that comes. Um, I've got a sheet that looks just like this. That's going to post in the community section. And so this has a Kura. You can see here, I've got a description of the knife here. Um... It's never been carried, satin blade, excellent condition, boxing stuff. So if you want to know about all that kind of stuff, look at this description on this sheet that's in the community section. And this is lot number one. See, all these knives are lot number. All these say lot number one. So as we go forward, there'll be different lot numbers. Um, but on this one, I'm asking $55 for it. Yeah. Yeah. So, with the shipping donation, if you wanted to donate the shipping, then you would submit $62 in the payment. Once you talk to me, and we agreed that you're the buyer, <coughs> oh, pardon me, I'll give you the Venmo to send the money to, and uh, then if you wanted to donate the shipping, you would add the $7 to the, what was the price again? $55, so that would make it $62 for that knife. All right, next is the Kershaw Dividend right here. So this is the one. This is a 1812 black in Magna Cut. The Kershaw Dividend. This knife was new, never carried, taken out of the box, checked in and out on the channel, and then put in storage. So this is an assisted knife. Boop. It's got amazing action. Locked up tight as a drum. Yeah. Good grip in hands. Got a nice finger guard. Pretty cool. And it the ergonomics are such that it's definitely a one-hand closed knife. Mm-hmm. Kershaw Dividend in Magna Cut. I believe I bought this this knife was a exclusive or something from uh Southern Mountain Knife Works. Pretty sure that's where I got this from. Yeah, pretty slick. So what am I asking for that? That dividend, I'm asking $125 for it. So if you're interested in that, hit me up at discerningman01 at gmail.com. Next up, Petrified Fish Bunta. Look at this thing, man. Nice satin blade. Something about the blade on this thing that's just... Man, this thing's so good. But then that action, mm, wonderful. This one you can reverse flick. Oh, there it is. Can thumb flick. And it's got a back flipper tab. Yeah. So it's black G10, D2 steel. Um, I think it's here on the tab. Yeah, D2 steel. And I believe this is the PF868. Yeah, wonderful action. The ergonomics on this thing, very locked in grip. Wonderful in hand, no hot spots. Excellent jimping back here. Place the thumb in there, wonderful jimping. And so that petrified fish, I'm asking 
$25 for this knife right here. Uh, next up, QSP Hawk. Okay, so this Hawk, it had gotten carried a few times, very few times. This pocket clip's got a ton of tension on it, runs perfectly. This is the one that I dyed purple. It's blue micarta, but I dyed it purple, and so the difference between this and blue, I wish I had something blue. There's blue right there. See the difference? The blue to the purple. So, I mean, that purple really took on these blue scales. It was wonderful. Um, I think this is 14C28N. It is, yeah. 14C28N on the Hawk. It's got pretty good hydraulic action. Really nice lockup. Very solid knife. Good ergonomics. You can feel the clip a little bit on this knife. Great jimping. Very aggressive. So it's easy to get locked in here. Mm. I like it. Just a little coax to get it down. Very solid, good functioning knife. I like it. Mm -hmm. QSP Hawk. And I'm asking $45 for this knife right here. $45 for the QSP Hawk. Next up is this Rose Rosecraft Blades. And this one, the name on this, it's the Okoe River Kayak. How cool is that? So it's got apple bone wood, or it's a bone that's been dyed apple color. So it's bone scales. Um, wonderful talk, walk and talk on this thing. It's never been cut or carried. I reviewed it on the channel and put it into storage. It's D2 steel. There it is. RCT009 Rosecraft Blades. I mean, for a slip joint, this thing's stunningly good. Yeah, very cool. This is one that, I got to be honest, boy, I really kind of wanted to keep this knife. But this is one that, you know, when it came down to purge cutting time, I had to just kind of get real and go, well, I can keep it and just put it in storage and I'm not going to do much with the knife. Or I can just move it on to somebody that's probably going to put it in their pocket, put it to use. I mean, this thing's stunningly good. Rosecraft Blades, Okoe. River Kayak, and I'm asking $50 for it. All right, next up. We're getting to the end here. Uh, Shield and Relicant right here. It's in D2 Steel. Um, I believe that's G10. Yes, G10. And it's got like this, fi this fish spine texture on both sides. This knife's never been carried. Brought it into the channel. Checked it in, um, checked it out, and then put it in storage. So it's got a good thumb flick. These thumb studs work great. The action on this thing, just shy of drop shut. It's got a reverse flick, and then it's got the back flipper tab. Very nice. It's got a really nice blade shape. Semi-harpoon. I guess that's a harpoon, but... Man, the thumb just rides in there. It gets so locked into this grip. It's wonderful. Really nice grip on it. Yeah, great action. Yeah, it's comfortable in hand. I dig it. No hot spots. Pretty, pretty cool. It's by Shielden, the Relicant. And I'm asking $40 for this knife. And all the goodies are in that box, too. I don't think these Shieldens came with much, some instructions or whatever. Um, next is the other Shielden. So this is the Shielden. This is a White Mountain Knives exclusive. Um, and this knife was never carried. It was just checked into the channel. And uh, when I checked it in, I took it apart, cleaned it up really nice. And, uh Yeah. This is a karambit style grip. 
I think they kind of sold it like, you know, so here, this is really the grip here, the Karambit reverse grip. And I say that because the palm really rests up in this space here with that jimping. You could, I guess, and by rights, you could hold this knife like this. It just, to me, this knife in hand feels like it goes here. Like that, to me, that feels where the, like where this knife goes. My hopes were, was that this could be used as a Bacall knife. And I think I saw somewhere where somebody had maybe claimed that it was. But this grip right here, that is not for this knife. It, you know, you'd have to put it out here and then it's, it's only like a three and a half finger grip. So it's really, to me, it's not a Pakal knife. The action on it, pretty solid. Very snappy to come out. It's got great detent. It's just not drop shut. But a couple of shakes. It's pretty easy to get it to close. Um, I'm asking $50 for this knife right here. For the uh, the uh, Sith. Uh, what was the steel on the Sith? It's 154 cm. Yeah, it says it right there. 154 cm. And $50 for it. Last, not least, not last, one more after this, but I've got the Spyderco Resilience. And it has uh, HCR 13 MOV steel. Uh, this is a China manufactured Spyderco, one of their budget lines. And it is a big knife. I mean, but you can reverse flick it and you can thumb flick it. Excellent grip, excellent ergonomics, combat jimping on the back on this, this platform for the thumb mirror, really locked in grip. The FRN scales on these Spartacos, these uh, lightweight ones, this stuff is wonderful. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like that FRN, but man, that is such a good grip. And look at that, look at this four inch slicey blade on that thing. It's ridiculous. Um, never carried, brought into the channel, reviewed and put into storage. So, but don't forget all these knives are be treated as used. Um, let's see, what am I asking for it? $55. That's what I'm asking for that. It's got a lanyard hole steel liners all right last up is the trevisa trevisa and i don't know if this has got a name or what the story is but it's a dor 04 ba it's a flipper and a button lock so it's got a back flipper and then it's got a button lock and the button on it is drop shut guillotine Solid lockup. There's no wiggle in this knife at all. And this is one that I think it was brown. I'm trying to remember the actual color of it. Um, but I think it was brown micarta and I dyed it red. Yep. Excellent. I mean, almost a dagger like blade, if you ask me. Needle sharp. I mean, wow, that thing is pokey. And razor sharp blade. Yeah. I like this one a lot too. Turned out pretty nice. That red, I mean, it's kind of interesting. Nice ergonomics. Locked in. Good jimping on the back of the spine. Yeah. Very functional pocket clip. Nice tension. Recessed. And reversible. Yeah, I like this Trivisa. I like all my Trivisas. Pretty, pretty good. And I'm asking $60 for the Trivisa. So that's all of them, all 12. Um, I will link them down below as well. Look in the community section for this sheet. And uh, yeah, let the purge begin. Let's start moving some of these knives out of here. So I've got at least 10 more of these purge videos that I'm just going to piece them in. Like this one's probably going to drop... Um, I think tomorrow in the, like the 11 o'clock slot, 
So I'll, I'll pop it in there. If you're interested in something, email me. Again, you can comment in the video itself. Um, but I am not going to take offers in the video. Like it's too confusing. So the only place I'm going to take offers, if you're interested in the knife, is through email. You'll have to email me at the channel email address. But if you got questions or whatever, feel free to pop in. And uh, yeah, make me an offer on some of these knives. Let's get rid of them. And I should have the next 10 or 12 or however many we get on the table. I should have them up uh, hopefully in a couple of days or so. Appreciate you watching, y'all. Hey, and I appreciate you supporting the channel. Take care. All right. Y'all already know I forgot one. <laughs> it jumped right over the list, man. So it's a Cansep Little Main Street. And uh, I believe that's Dirk Pinkerton. Dirk Pinkerton design right there. Yeah, brown micarta. It's got that black coating. Um, 154CM steel. It's got amazing drop shut action. Excellent thumb flick and wonderful reverse thick flick. Yeah, the action on this thing's stupid. Great ergonomics. Excellent titanium pocket clip. Yeah, this thing is legit. Legit, legit, legit. So, um, this one came into the channel. I checked it in and checked it out and then put it into storage. And so, even though this is one, again, I kind of had to. I had to fight back the urge to not hoard this one and keep it a really nice knife. I mean, honestly, I kind of feel that way about all of them. Like I, you know, if I, if I spent enough time just digging through all these, I'd go, well, I really like this one. Well, I really like that one. And I'd find reasons to keep them all, but they don't call it the purge for nothing. Right. So, uh, I'm looking to sell this one for $70. I'm asking for $70 for that knife. So, anyways, appreciate y'all watching.